leviathans. Big, fat and ugly, but profitable. You might know that each leviathan drops a pearl when killed, and this pearl is worth 12 grand, 12,000 cats each. And there is a reason why they're worth so much. They are hard to kill. Each one's health pool is in the thousands, so even if you could kill them, time to kill can be very, very long. But if you had someone who could do a lot of damage with a heavy weapon like a falling sun, maybe someone like Old Soldier, maybe it could be profitable. Well, of course it's gonna make money, but is it better than other methods like drug dealing or just plain stealing? We're gonna find out. First, the plan. I've been around the map before, sniffing for some ancient ruins, and up north I went through a place called the Leviathan Coast, and you guessed it, there were Leviathans. So we're gonna be going all the way up there, and we should be just fine. I've stolen Catlon's weapon, the May, May Toe, May, the Falling Sun, which is owned by Catlon, which is perfect for the job, and along with old soldiers high strength dexterity and heavy weapon skills bring the damage to just about 400 all of that combined will hopefully be enough to kill them let's begin we're not just going with old soldier he does need someone to cry at his funeral so we're going to bring ray and martial artists and bully to carry all the pearls it's time time for a montage 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 cannibals oh wow a uh, place called Cannibal Plains. I wonder who lives here. We did meet some, oh, cannibals? Who gets? But if Old Soldier could kill Leviathans, he could kill a few hundred cannibals. We then took a pit stop at the local cannibal city where I let Old Soldier and Ray loose, they proceeded to kill the entire city. And after that there was just one guy left, a cannibal wizard. But he died in one hit, so he wasn't a very good wizard. And then we watched just some random cannibal completely ignore us. The people just murdered all of their friends, and they just started cooking their friends. Well, friends and food do start with the same letter, so yeah. Let's just, let's just leave. Soon enough we got to the coast and found what we came for. A big, fat, ugly, but hopefully profitable leviathan. I made sure only old soldier would attack the leviathan, but started to stab, stab, stab. The leviathan's health pool was in the thousands, but old soldier's damage was in the hundreds. Slowly chipping away, eventually after a few hours, hit after hit, it fell. Thankfully, the other leviathans gave no shits at all about us murdering their friends and ripping the pearl from it. So we got our first pearl, 12 grand. That one kill took ages to be profitable. But I had a trick up my sleeve, the pups. Their health was half of the adults and a much quicker kill. So we did what any good businessman would do. We targeted the children. After a few more leviathan kills, there was a small problem. We kept getting attacked by beak things. There was a nest right next to where we was killing all of these children. I sent Ray the martial artist in and then we stole their eggs. I don't know why they need eggs anyway. Several murders later and we was now the local serial killer. Oh, and we also had several pearls. Now was the time for profit. The closest city was World's End, a tech hunter city. They had enough shops to be able to buy all of the pearls and eggs we had, so we'll just go there. In the end, we had seven pearls and 13 beak thing eggs, but the beak thing eggs aside, selling each pearl for 12,000 got us 84,000 cats. So if you ever wanted to know if becoming the local Leviathan serial killer make good money, yes, it does. Just make sure you aim for the children. It's the end of the video. Wow, if you've got any video ideas, pass me a comment. Maybe you could press the thumb button and then maybe take it up a level with the funny red button.